Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today I'm going to help you guys understand the difference between fractions, decimals, and percentages and how to convert between them. So let's firstly give you guys a decimal number that you are familiar with. So let's say I give you 0 0.5. Now what is 0 0.5? 0 0.5 is halfway between 0 and 1, isn't it? If you draw a number line, okay, and let's say I have 0, 1, 2, 3, or whatever, you keep going, then 0 0.5 would be halfway between 0 and 1. This will be 0 0.5. Now, if I write a fraction, okay, if I told you a fraction of 1 over 2, okay, or a half, what does 1 over 2 mean? 1 over 2 means if we, um, if we have a pizza, right and we divide it by two and we rub out half of it or we color in a half of the pizza this section here we call it a half now that's exactly the same as 0 0.5 because if you think about it 0 0.5 is halfway between 0 and 1 so if we look at 0 to 1 as a pizza, 0 0.5 is half of that. So 0 0.5 and a half is the same thing. Okay, it's the same thing. And then let's look at a percentage. Let's look at 50%. What does 50% mean? Well, 50% means if there are 100 people, okay, if I give you, let's say, a um, hundred people, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then let's say, um, oh, somehow I, I uh, reproduce all that number of z people, and then I get exactly half the number of people so 50 people, right? There are 100 people here. Let's say I get 50 people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I get 50 people, that's 50%. Now, that's exactly the same as a half, right? Because if you have a look, there are 100 people I took 50 people away, so I've taken exactly half of 100, which is 50%. So 0 0.5, a half, and 50%, they're exactly the same thing. So how do I quickly convert between them? Well, this is how you do it. Okay, so let's say I have a... Um, a a fraction. Okay, it's a half. Now, to convert it to a decimal, what you do is you get the top number and you divide it by the bottom number. So you just type into the calculator 1 divided by 2. The numerator divided by the denominator. Okay, 1 divided by 2, and you will get 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is the decimal. Now, to go from the decimal to a percentage, all you have to do is you type in the decimal times by 100, and you got the percentage. And the percentage is 50. Okay, why do you multiply it by 100? Because the word percentage means out of 100. So what's half of 100? 
So half of 100 is 50. So that's why you do 0 0.5 times 100 because 0 0.5 means the same thing as a half. So half of 100 is 50. So let's try um, a bit more. Let's try uh, converting 3 fourths the fraction. Let's try convert it to a decimal and then to a percentage. So you get the top number divided by the bottom number, 3 divided by 4, and you should get 0 0.75. All right, 0 0.75, and then if you multiply that by 100, you will get 75 percent. Don't forget the percent sign. Okay, so that's how you convert from a fraction to decimal and percentage. Now let's give you a decimal. So let's say I told you I have 0 0.4 and I want you to convert it to a percentage. So it's 0 0.4 times 100 which is 40%. Now, if you want to go back and convert it to a fraction, what you can do is if you have a look at the decimal and you see how many numbers are there after the decimal point, how many digits are there, there's one digit. So what you do is you can just write as a fraction 4 divided by 10. Right? And the reason for that is because if you guys remember, uh, a fraction is the same as the top number divided by the bottom number. So this is the same, this is the same as 4 divided by 10. Okay, that's basically what the fraction line means. It means divide, 4 divided by 10, 4 out of 10. So 4 divided by 10 means moving the decimal point to the left one unit as we learned in the previous lesson. So that will give us 0 0.4. So that's why you're dividing it by 10. right? When there's one digit after the decimal point, you divide it by 10. If there's two digits, so for example, let's do 0 0.56, there are two digits, then you divide it by you divide 56 by 100. So however many numbers there are after the decimal point, that's how many zeros you divide by. Okay, and then you put 1 in front. So 56 divided by 100. And then you got 0 0.56 times 100, and that's 56%. So let's give you guys another one. Let's do... Uh, uh, let's do 3.725. Okay, so how many numbers are there after the decimal point? Three, three numbers, so you're going to do 3.725 divided by a thousand, three zeros. Oops. Uh, you don't, you shouldn't have the point here. Get rid of the point. Okay, 3725 divided by a thousand. And then um, you're going to do, is it 3.725 times a hundred, which is 372.5%. Okay, so that's how you convert between um, fraction, decimal, and percentage. Now, actually, I haven't told you how to go backwards. So this is the percentage. This is the uh, decimal. And this is a fraction. So if I give you a percentage, if I told you what's 70%, as a decimal, you would simply divide it by 100 and then you will get 0 0.7. Why do we divide it by 100? Because previously we multiplied the decimal by 100 to give us a percentage. 
Alright, so now to go back, we would divide it by 100. So let me write that out. From a decimal to a percentage, we multiply it by 100. From percentage to decimal, we divide it by 100. Okay, now what about we want to go back to a fraction? Well, we just put 7 divided by 10, as we talked about previously. So, let's give you guys a few simple questions, see if you can figure it out. Okay, so now I want you to fill in the blanks, try it out, and come back when you're done. Okay, so fraction convert to a decimal, it's 2 divided by 5, right? Top number divided by bottom number, numerator divided by denominator, and you should get 0 0.4. 0 0.4 converted to a percentage times it by 100 is 40 percent. Okay, uh, now we have a decimal. Decimal converted to a percentage times by 100. 0 0.3 times 100 is 30 percent. Now, converted to a fraction, it's 3 out of 10 because there is one number after the decimal point. So you just write that number divided by 10. Um, so 250% divided by 100 and you will get 2.5 right move the decimal point to the left two units 2.5 fraction there's one number after the decimal point so 25 over 10 now um, I will talk about actually I have already done a few tutorials in fractions feel free to go through the tutorials on fractions because they I guess you learn about them in primary school as well so 25 divided by 5 is 5 10 divided by 5 is 2 okay thanks for watching guys see you next time